In Sprinkler Social, there are two types of dashboards, standard and custom. In this video, you'll learn how to find and utilize standard dashboards. To find your reporting dashboards, open a new tab and navigate to Sprinkler Social. You can then access reporting in the analytics section right here. Here in Reporting Home, you'll see a list of all of your reporting dashboards, and in the Type column, you can see there are standard and custom dashboards available. Standard dashboards are ready-made pre-built dashboards for common use cases, whereas the custom ones are bespoke dashboards you can build and edit as you like. Let's apply a filter at the top to only show standard dashboards, and you'll see several dashboards like Campaign Insights and Overview dashboards, Gallery Analytics dashboards, and further down, we even have channel-specific dashboards. Let's open this overview one, which is a cross-channel social engagement dashboard. A standard dashboard contains a collection of the most relevant widgets for the use case in question. Here, we start with some high-level summaries before moving on to charts, tracking message volume, and brand engagement over time. And all the way down to the bottom, where we're tracking social engagement by channel, time of day, and much more. As you hover over widgets, you can gain extra insights, and by clicking a data point, you can drill down even further. For example, we could break down a month's engagement by social network like this. Similarly, if you wanted to apply that same social network lens to the whole dashboard, you can do so by using a filter which you apply at the top of the page here. You can add multiple filters at once, and if you'd like to reuse a set of filters in the future, you can click Save on the right, which will save this configuration as a quick filter. Above your filters, you'll find the date picker, which allows you to set the date range for the data appearing in the dashboard. You can choose from any of the preset options on the left or set a custom start and end date using the two calendars here. Lastly, you'll notice that with a standard dashboard, you don't have the option to add new widgets or edit the layout of the dashboard itself. For this, you'll need to create a custom dashboard, which you can do by clicking the option menu here and choosing clone. Choose a name, click clone, and you'll see you can now add widgets to your new custom dashboard. You can learn more about this in our video on custom dashboards. And if you'd like further information in general on reporting dashboards, you can check out the knowledge portal. To find it, click your user icon in the top right, choose platform help, and then knowledge portal. From here, you can use the search bar to find the information you're looking for. In this video, you've learned how to find and utilize standard dashboards in Sprinkler Social. Thanks for watching.